has finally come. It's Friday afternoon and we're leaving Colonial Beach, Virginia. We got to get to Moab, Utah by Monday. I got uh, Dawn in the car with me. I got Fanny behind me. I got my traveling clothes on and my shirt is wrinkled. Here we go. guys so before we headed out for this trip you know Pete the guy has been doing uh, the repair work and maintenance for us he hooked us up one last time and we got a, uh, a backup camera installed on Fanny and there's the monitor right there so that's cool one thing I didn't like about driving with the camper was not being able to see you know what's behind us you know and just having to rely on the side mirrors now it's like we have a rear view mirror and that's cool Just past Charlottesville. We had a spot of traffic there for a little bit. There was an accident, but we're past that now. Um, we're actually taking the same route we took a few weeks back, going out to the New River Gorge. You know, we'll be on the 64 for the, you know, for the next few hundred miles at least. Uh, I think the plan has us following that until we hit the 70 in St. Louis. So it'll, it'll be a minute. Um, as I mentioned before, it's Friday. You know, and I don't think we're gonna really stop and do much of anything today. I think the the goal really is just to, to press and try to get a good jump on things you know make some good distance that gives us all day Saturday and all day Sunday to sort of you know ease back a little bit enjoy some of the sights along the way uh, and just about an hour or so we'll be in West Virginia you know which we've already been in but after that you know the next states those are all new states both for me and for Fanny so we putting some stickers on the side so we got some exciting stuff coming up so all right some of the things we have planned for this trip you know as I mentioned already we're, we're heading out towards Moab and that's where we're gonna kick things off and you know most of this trip is it's something we've wanted to do for many years now so we finally decided the time was right we got the scam so that makes it even better we're gonna go visit Utah's mighty five those are the five national parks in Utah so you know we'll get to Moab and that's sort of a good launching point to visit both Canyonlands and arches and then moving on from there we're gonna hit up Capitol Reef Bryce Canyon and then finally Zion and that'll wrap up the Mighty Five so you know we're again staying very flexible on this trip um, but you know we're sort of thinking when we're done with that we'll have you know a few days maybe even a week before we gotta you know be back home and back to work so we're pretty much gonna just freestyle at that point so not quite sure what we're gonna do after that but the big thing we have that we intend to do is visit the Mighty Five now there's some stuff along the way out here we, we've never seen I've never seen at least I think Dom may have seen some of it, but you know, I'm talking St. Louis, Kansas City. So we might hit up some stuff along the way, but again, the way out's more flexible as well. But the Mighty Five is what it's all about, so we're looking forward to seeing them.
All right, so there's Fanny. We stopped for some gas here. We're at a service area in uh, West Virginia. There's a rest area there. Um, stopped and got some gas. You know, Dawn uh, made a thermos of coffee for me. She's got some iced coffee, so she's fixing us some, some coffee drinks. It's only about nine, so, you know, we're still uh, making good progress, uh, you know, putting a good dent in this, uh, you know, the distance we're trying to cover um, to get to Moab. You know, uh, we're about 50 miles from Charleston, I think. So we're gonna keep pressing, probably go a few hundred miles tonight, try to get to Louisville at least. You know, thinking tomorrow we'll pass through St. Louis and you know, I've never been there and I gotta see that arch. So we'll probably wait and time it up so we're there during the daylight so we can see that as well. So I think we'll stop at somewhere in Kentucky, probably do some boondock on a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel. But yeah, so far we're doing all right. So let's keep, keep trucking. So here we are at the Kentucky Welcome Center, but unfortunately it's 11 o'clock, so it's closed. Um, kind of a small place, you know, not, nothing fancy. Um, went to the bathroom and they had one toilet working, so at least it was good enough for that. But, uh, you know, um, you know, I said a few times I hadn't been to Kentucky before, but it occurred to me I actually have been there briefly. Went to Cumberland Gap, you know, we just barely went into it. So this, this trip will spend a little bit more time there. So I think it counts so I can, uh, claim it as a place i visited although since it's dark you know i really can't see much you know that's part of the problem about traveling at night well it's nice to be able to you know move around with not a lot of traffic you just don't get to see much scenery but yeah we're gonna keep moving through try to put, get within like a couple hours of st louis tonight i think so we can sleep a little bit and wake up and go see the arch and just drive a short while um but yeah moving on here did stop and sleep for a few hours at a Cracker Barrel on the outskirts of Louisville. Now I'd heard that Cracker Barrels allow RVs to camp there overnight, although I'd never done it so I wasn't sure, but when we pulled up there was another RV there so I knew it was okay. Next time we'll have to time it up so that we can wake up and actually have breakfast at the Cracker Barrel. Dawn and I are going to have to plan another trip to come back and visit Kentucky. Being that it was dark, I didn't get to appreciate the landscape at all, but as we passed Louisville, it seemed like a pretty cool city, something we'd like to check out again in the future, so we'll be back. At this point I made a mistake. My GPS was trying to send me an alternate route, but I decided that I wanted to take 64 the whole way straight into St. Louis. As it turns out, the road was closed and that wasn't possible, and I ended up turning around and taking that alternate route anyway, so I learned a lesson. Indiana. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot, of, a lot of fog. It's 
today. It's a nice morning. Um, a few hours, a couple hundred miles will be at St. Louis. And, you know, I'm glad to have the sun up now because I think once we cross uh, the, the river there, the Mississippi is when we really start to see some some of the dramatic uh, shifts in the terrain and the landscape. And that's, you know, one of the things I love about driving across the country. So, yeah, glad to have some views. pretty much just gonna be passing through here um, but yeah we're getting very close now we're looking forward to seeing that arch and you know, we've been in a bunch of new states now so at some point down the road here a little bit we're gonna pull over and slap some stickers on Fanny surprised upon seeing the arch. I thought it would be cool to see, but I had no idea just how impressive I actually would find it. I was so focused on the arch, I almost didn't realize that we were passing into Missouri. Blink and you'll miss the sign. All right, we made it. We've arrived in St. Louis. You know, it was a good drive out here, not overly eventful, but it was nice. But it feels like this really is the sort of the kickoff to our, our trip here. You know, we're gonna go check out that arch and then see what else we wanna see here. And you know, we drove around for a few minutes, but finally found a, a nice parking lot that's pretty wide open that we could park in and fit Fanny. Six bucks for 12 hours. We won't be here that long, but we're good to go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start exploring. Let's go. very unique experience taking about nine minutes round trip. The technology the tram uses is a combination of that found in elevators and ferris wheels. Amazingly, the concept was developed in just under two weeks. from the top are even better than expected.
finished up at the the arch and we're about to have a little picnic lunch that Dawn just served us. She made me some uh, egg salad and a chicken salad sandwich, two sandwiches. So we're gonna eat that and then uh, start heading down the road. Um, you know, big fan of that arch. You know, it's really cool to see from the outside. We're lucky, it's a very beautiful day. You know, blue sky. So it was really, really something to, to see. You know, and we went in there, we did the ride up to the the top on a tram. You know, there's a few different options. You can do the, the tram ride, you know, you can buy a, a you know, this ticket to see a documentary and they also have a river cruise. You know, we didn't want to spend all day here, so we just did the tram. We also have a free, free museum there that you can check out. Um, very well done museum, highly recommend all of it. You know, um, the museum, they talk about the, the, the arch and the construction of it, but also, you know, even more so, talk about the history of St. Louis. So definitely, definitely a cool stop. We got our first stamps of the trip, and it's appropriate that, you know, that we're heading west. This is our first real stop, the Gateway Arch to the west. So, all right, time to eat and then hit the road. Delicious. Similar to Louisville, St. Louis seems like a pretty cool city that has a lot to offer. I definitely see Dawn and I coming back here sometime in the future and spending a little bit more time. Our trip was off to an awesome start. In under 24 hours, we already visited five states and one national park. We have a long way to go and a lot to see, but things were going good. officially left the eastern portion of the United States and we're entering the Midwest where things get very flat. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video please consider hitting the like button. And if you'd like to follow us along on this journey please consider subscribing. We have a lot more to come so stay tuned because scamps like us we were born to camp. Later!